today we are going to build Chrome extension in less than eight minutes. So I built this top cryptocurrency extension, and as you can see, it displays Bitcoin price action live. So we don't need to go anywhere. Like if you are a crypto enthusiast like me, this project is definitely for you. So stick till the end and enjoy this video. Please give a like and thumbs up, and let's begin. Let's open our VS Code and start building. So for this small project, we just need three files. One is HTML file, one is script.js file, and one is manifest JSON file. I will explain what each each file does. So let's so this is a front end of your extension. So now uh, let's begin with title you can just name it whatever you like it depends on what project you are building for me i am a crypto app that tells me my crypto coin um for this example we are just going for one coin otherwise it will be it will be a longer than eight minutes right and that's not going to be worth it let's see let's keep it like that I have named our list as crypto coins, uh, which will help us in our script. Let's now we are naming them, and now we are just going into script.js. So what we need here is we need some kind of call that gives us information back. And if you have looked into my previous video, I have talked about Rapid API, and similarly, that's what we use here. But we are going to use this API. You need to create it. Your account on Rapid API, and this is this is the Rapid API that we talked about last time. That that is uh, API that you develop, and you can place it here, and that can earn you money if someone uses it. We are not going to create API in this video, as we have already created in our previous one. So let's just jump into it. So if you guys haven't looked into my previous videos, just refer it to have a better idea. So now, if you look at this Coin Ranking API, we can see that there is this API call that says a get coin price. Now this is perfect for our use case because we are just looking for Bitcoin price action live. So if we look at there and we see the results comes in, the example response comes in as price. This is obviously not the current price, but it just gives us an example. So this is the current price of Bitcoin. So this is what we want to display on our front end. Now, this is easier to, done, to be done on JavaScript. So now we are just copying that request and we are pasting it here. And now we want to just use that information in our function. So we are defining here an async of it function. We name our function here as fetch data. So this will contain our methods and headers to call that API. So now I'm defining a rest, con rest as constant. It will have a response from our fetch so we are calling our api call with options so now we are just copy pasting the url where we want to get our data from so now i'm defining our record here which is just a json format of our response now what I'm doing here is just pasting our response in our get element ID crypto coins that we define in our index HTML. So now this is how we are going to paste it in our HTML file. So as you can see, the response here is data.price. So now we are just calling our function And just deleting it to keep it clean. So here we have our script. Just define our manifest JSON. So manifest JSON is just the metadata that Chrome takes in as a as as a metadata for our extension. So the format is same. So you just name whatever extension is called. We call it version. We call it sorry. We call we call dot crypto coin. Uh, version for this extension. 
as you see with many extension, right? Some description, extension, we can see price action live, let's say, and then to have next. Should we three teacher? Have the author name there. action action again has the same information that we have. It is just what it does when it pops out. So fault pop does it pops out index.html. Similarly, like this, we have a title. Title will be the same. So now we have so let's test this program. So I'll go to it and or now we are having some issue. We'll figure out what's going on. I'll prefer it on Chrome. Let's figure out what's happening. You can hit F12 and script is filling. It's filling on. Oh, okay. What's going on? Now oh, this is embarrassing, but this happens. That this is our life as a developer. We need to figure out what's going on. Here. Is it just that? Uh, let's try it again. Yep. It's the spelling mistake. So yeah, so here you have it. You have this app working. Our extension, I would say. So now let's test our extension if it's working. So to do that, we will open Chrome extension. This is how we open our extension. Hit the manage extension. We'll hit the developer mode on. Make sure you have that on. Now you will see this three option. You will have load unpack, pack extension update. We will select load unpack. Now we will go to our folder path where we created this project. So I created Chrome extension. And now you will just select that and you will now have this extension here. So now let's dig it. Now let's try test this. So, yep. So here we go. Hope you get something useful from this video and hope you are building your own extension. It's as you see, it's really easy. Sorry about the debug time, but that shouldn't have happened. But again, this is a life journey of any developer, right? So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will come up again with some badass idea for you guys. Hit that subscribe. Love you all. Bye.